also to extend your desktop screen from home and I'm also going to just show you what it's going to look like the things that you're going to need laptop you're going to need your second monitor you're going to need a, another VGA cable like I have right here now on your laptop you're always going to have a VGA connection that's going to be right here now if your TV was made between 2009 and today it is going to have a VGA connection on it. some of you will have a HDMI cable but given the laptops that we have you are going to need that other VGA connection that you see right here on the back so like you're hooking it up to your Promethean board go ahead and back and then you'll plug it in on the side so now all right so now this is what you're going to have when you install an external monitor to a device that is running on Windows 10 it's going to automatically go and it's automatically going to duplicate the screen all right, so next you're going to press Windows and T. That's going to bring you up to where you're going to be able to extend your desktop or duplicate it. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on extend. Once your, once your screen has been extended, this is what you are going to be looking at. So now I want to show this Google screen, the Google Chrome screen over here. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it to the right. So what that's going to give me is now the window screen on the desktop. So if you're trying to use your document camera, you'll use your document camera on your extended screen. Now on the screen that you already have, then what you will have is your Google Meets going on on your laptop screen, and then you are showing how to either do something using your document camera, or you can use your Active Inspire to be annotating on the screen. The students will be able to see from there, but you will also be able to keep an eye on your Google Meet.